Happy Friday, everyone. Hey, before we get into the Devo today, I just want to do a public shout out to all of the teaching team that's helped us over summer. Uh, many of you know this if you've been part of New Life for a while, but my summer changes so I can get ready for the fall and the upcoming year. And uh, it's great also to hear from different people. And so I, I just think this particular series, the team has done such a fabulous job. And so email them, text them, say something to them when you see them. I just think this has really been a rich series. We're, we're only in, really in the middle of it, but um, just want to say thank you to all of them. And then uh, Crystal got a chance to join me on Sunday. And so part of our Devo involves that because I want to talk about for Jesus' sake. And she brought that up on Sunday. The story involved a statement out of David's life. And David said, for Jonathan's sake. And she said, what if we did some things for Jesus' sake? And I want to read from 1 Corinthians 10, 31 that has an element of that. It says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So just one verse as we wrap up this week today. Uh, first of all, uh, it doesn't take a big thing to bring God glory. In this verse, Paul is saying eating can bring God glory. You know, what you drink, what you don't drink can bring God glory. How you behave can bring God glory. It doesn't take monumental things to bring God glory. Sometimes it's just the um, minute things, the, main, the mundane things that can bring him glory. So in that sense, another observation, God doesn't just care about the spiritual things in my life. He cares about the daily things in my life, the eating and the drinking, whatever I do, the Bible says. Implied in that, though, keep this in mind, implied in that is what I don't do, how I don't do something. If I choose to restrain and not say, not post, not text, not react, you know, that's also something that can bring God glory. Um, and then um, one question I think that can, you know, bring a lot of clarity to when we're supposed to do something or not do something is simply this question that's implied. Will this bring God glory? I think that's an observation from here. Do I use that verse, this single verse, um, like Jesus' sake, for Jesus' sake should I do this? Does it bring him glory? Does it bring his name honor? Well, application then, this is a little bit of review from the past week. Kindness can bring people to repentance that will certainly bring God glory. Believing the best in people is a form of kindness. That'll bring God glory. Overlooking an offense is a form of kindness. That will bring God glory. Serving others with a good attitude. So Martha's story or what she wasn't doing. But if you do it right, um, that's a form of kindness and can bring God glory. Being patient, kind of going back to last week, is a form of kindness, can bring God glory. A couple extra things. Building his church, even when we can't meet, can bring him glory. We don't have to be in a building to build. We actually can build his kingdom by being the church, by behaving as the church, by being a representation of Jesus in the world. And so let's continue to do that. Um, the Bible says, uh, and Jesus was making this statement, really, um, they will know that we are his disciples by our love. By our love. Kindness is a form of love. When you know the fruit of the Spirit and it starts with love, really the rest of the qualities are a representation of love. And kindness is part of that. We are here on this earth as followers of Jesus. Um, why didn't Jesus take you to heaven the moment that he changed your life? Because we are his representatives in this world to reach people and to give him glory. When it's all said and done, Nothing else really lasts, but that does. And so for the simplicity of a week where we've dealt with lots of, lots of challenging things, let me wrap it up with the simplicity of this. Let's pray that um, we could reflect Him more uh, and bring more glory to Him, that that becomes our standard, and when in confusion, we just come back to that. So Jesus... Thank you for this quality. Thank you that you showed kindness to us, everlasting kindness, loving kindness. And as we have received it, and as we need to receive more of it and continue to live on it, I pray that we would give it out, that we would reflect it. I pray that that would bring you glory and that when we are in moments of confusion or difficulty or even when we've um, fell short of all the things we've talked about this week, 
and we receive your forgiveness. We repent and receive your forgiveness. Even that brings you glory. Let this week wrap up by bringing you glory. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See you on Sunday. We're going to have a great Sunday.